Friday the 13th. So it is September 12th. And I have read nothing. I did read, I can't say nothing. I can't say nothing. I read like the first chapter of Life Like by J. Kristoff. Just that I've been reading a lot of adult, so um, <clears throat> so I kind of set it off the side and I said I'm just not gonna read right now. I'm just I'm gonna take a book break for a little bit. But this weekend, this weekend, possibly Saturday, I'm going to pick up. The first of the Bloodsworn trilogy by John Gwynn. I just got off the phone with my doctor because you know we, we won't talk about too much, but you know when you're when you're about fifty, you know fifty, there are certain tests tests that you have to take. I am not looking forward to this one at all, so I had to call and tell them which which uh, hospital I wanted to do that. There's only one. I'm not traveling. I'm just gonna. I'm not looking forward to it. Does anybody? Also, I need to call back a few people because I'm pretty sure I was supposed to have a mammogram. Because I'm due for that. But it's the other thing. You know, from the other end. <laughs> I don't look forward to it at all. I'm not. I'd rather read books. I would. I would. I would rather read nonfiction about former President Trump than get a colonoscopy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyways, maybe I'd rather get a colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, what have I been doing? Oh, I have been watching The Expanse. I am on season five, and I'm almost done. There are only six seasons available, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. The next day. What a day. It started out with forgetting that I spritzed a pan, turning the stove on, and walking away. distracted the pan, the house is fine obviously it's still standing the pan may need some extra scrubbing with something so it's nice and silver and not as black oops should not be left without supervision when it comes to ovens and stoves and stuff I really shouldn't <laughs> I really shouldn't we got a new kitchenette at the school for the kids. And one of the kids asked me today, Miss Amy, come cook me something. I said, I don't think you want Miss Amy near a stove, even if it's for pretend. Not today. Ah, <laughs> you make me something. I had a child scream in my face. But I wore my calm earrings that I bought at the rock show. So I wore my calm earrings. They even complimented in the middle of the whole, I need help. <laughs> Those are pretty. Are they pretty? They're supposed to help me stay calm today. As well as breathing. I'll breathe with you. You got this. And we got calm together. And then child color themselves blue today with a marker. They're Crayola, but they're not washable, apparently. We did give mom a heads up that she was getting a baby Smurf today. I only turned my head for a minute. Maybe not even a whole minute. It was just long enough to spit out a sentence to the secretary that was standing at the door. I turned and he was blue. I'm blue diving fifty. Oh well. What a day. That's I'm gonna relax right now. That's all I have for now. Three days later. I finished The Expanse last night. 
I am now ready to jump into the Bloodsworn trilogy and read a fucking book. It's time. So I got to get a hold of Sarah and see if she's ready to read it with me because I am buddy reading it with somebody and they've been waiting for me. They've been waiting for me and I am ready. I'm excited. I'm excited. I might read, hopefully if she gets back to me, a few chapters before bed tonight to get started. So yeah. And my husband made a really nice dinner in a crock pot. So he was really thinking about how exhausted I usually am after work. So it was really kind of him to be doing that. So that's nice. And I need to get hydrated. So I need to drink some more water. So yeah. More later. Another time. Bye. Three days later. Good morning. Before I go to work, I have a busy day. A regular work day. Kids have a short day. We got open house to prep for this evening and I wish I didn't have anything to do because I really want to be reading this. I am four chapters in. Sarah and I and my bookish friend are buddy reading this together. I got a hold of her yesterday and we were both like texting at the same time I guess that I'm going to read a couple chapters before bed and we were like we thought that was funny. Jinx! <laughs> but yeah uh, I really like the POVs that we've gotten so far. I'm a little concerned about a uh, side character or two. I think we've met one of the villains. I know there's always multiple. So, yeah. I am mm, really want to get back into this so bad, but I have to go to work. Oh, sometimes I really hate adulting. Also, in my bag right now, I'm looking down, in my bag is something new for the classroom that I bought. I really shouldn't have bought anything, but I did. And it is shrink wrapped. And I know it's a lot bigger than it was looking. So <laughs> I have a rug for our reading area for the kids. I'm excited for that. I really want to read this. I wish I could go sit in the rug area. Maybe that's what I'll do. But I don't want anything to happen to the cover. I need one of those book sleeve things. Hmm. The next day. I just finished chapter 17. They knew it was coming. Orca is so going to hurt some people. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's happening. Okay. Go back in. Oh, that, that hurt a little bit. One eternity later. It is September 26th. It's a Thursday. And I'm freaking home. I've been home since Tuesday. Okay? It's been 48 hours. So I tested. It's positive. And I have fever. Two days of fever. What sucks is the bestie got here last night. Like, from Ohio she flew in and I am just I'm pissed I'm pissed that my plans with bestie our plans have gone to shit <laughs> cause the plan was to go and spend Friday night at the cabin with her like old times like we used to go to the cottage and stuff and I was really excited to be doing that and I'd already started my list my overnight bag because it was only going to be one night and we you know sit and talk and chat and sleep and, and wake up and have coffee and hang out and talk some more and then she'd go to her grandma's birthday party I've taken my meds today I am staying hydrated I am fever free at the moment I have to be fever free without medication for 24 hours so I'm hoping that lasts so that I can at least hopefully go back to work tomorrow 
Although my body is telling me, hmm, you should probably just stay home, rest, go in on Monday, mask up, bitch. Anyways, let's talk about books. I'm halfway through The Shadow of the Gods. I've already been in contact with Sarah. She is behind, but we are um, talking about maybe being done with this by October 6th. That's her chosen date. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. I can probably finish the last half of this book this weekend because I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here at home easily. But I'm going to wait for her to catch up. And I told her, I said, let me know when you get to the end of chapter 17 because I didn't tell her why. <laughs> I didn't tell her why. I'll tell you why right now because she distrusts Orca's husband. And I feel like by the end of chapter 17, uh, her mind might be changed just a little bit. Anyways, I love it. I knew that I would. Because it's, it's, it's freaking John Gwynn. And he's amazing. And she loves the writing as well. She's really into it. She's enjoying it very a lot. She's enjoying it a lot. So I'm glad that I'm reading it with Sarah. I am. Um, after I finish the Bloodsworn trilogy, I've talked to my bestie about reading Everyone on This Train is a Suspect. Because we enjoyed the first book by that author. Benjamin Stevenson? Yeah. I think that's it. Anyways, my coffee cup is empty. I've had breakfast. I'm going to, I'm going to go have some coffee. I haven't had any coffee yet. And my ADHD med, I think, is kicking in. So, fingers crossed for a fever-free day. That would be great. I hope there's a part of me that's hoping that my bestie will change her mind and pull into my driveway with my gifties even though it's raining it's like I just stand under my umbrella and she'll stand under an umbrella of her own and we can just chat without even like getting close to each other which would suck because we want to hug each other but I like I just want to be I want to, I, I hate that I can't even be like in the same room with her right now because she could get sick and then she wouldn't be able to fly if she tested positive and that would suck. So she needs to be able to get home. It's a non-refundable ticket. So yeah, I get it. 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 Spend this time with your gram. It's important. It just sucks. I know that there'll be other visits because she says there'll be other visits. I'm like, yeah, but when? When? Two years from now? And does somebody have to die first before she comes to visit? I really hope not. Oh, that got really morbid. As long as it's not me. <laughs> much, much, much later. I think that this is going to be the last clip that I use for the month. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Because, I don't know. Part of me is like... I might just nix a lot of footage from from the past week because it's just me feeling sorry for myself and being sick. Anyways, this is the only book that I finished in September. It's also my buzzword book that I chose. Um, Fractal Noise by Christopher Paolini is not um, directly connected to The Sea of Stars, but it's part of that sci-fi world and time frame. And you do have scientists in it, and they are, you know, going to go check out this thing on this planet and get some samples. And it goes sideways real bad. It's just a little side story that he was working on while he was working and taking a break from the Sea of Stars. So he decided to tell this story. It's basically Alex's story of how he deals with um, the loss of his wife he's he's grieving so there's that in the process <laughs> of dealing with all of that he's on this mission and it doesn't go well <laughs> it doesn't go well at all but I'll leave that and when he there's some action in here so I was kind of impressed with the way that he wrote that so yeah 3.5 blossoms and it's going on my shelf with all my other paleeny works and 
do I want to read some more in that inheritance world? Probably. Um, he does talk in a little interview at the end of this about how uh, Murtaugh was something that he was working on and I don't have it yet, but I will get it probably when it comes out in soft cover. So I will add that and read that at some point. But what I really want to read, what I really, really, really want to, <laughs> what I really want to finish the rest of this, but I know that um, Sarah and I are planning for October 6th to be when we finish this book. That's what we're shooting for. She's playing catch up today. And as soon as she gets closer to where I'm at, and where we agree to, you know, stop the first time. <laughs> I will continue on with The Shadow of the Gods, which I'm having a really good time with. I knew that I would. I knew that I would. That being said, let's see. Plans for October. I put two books out on Noria's Patreon to be voted on, along with a couple of other people who are putting books out. So I'm hoping one of my books gets picked, one, at least one. Um, I think that if they choose the Amanda Scott one, I'll be super, super excited. But either way, I'm reading these two books in October for sure. One is my buzzword book, and that is my Frederick Bachman choice. And that is, uh, let's see if I can remember right. Uh, my grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry. There's that one, which I'm pretty sure is going to deal with. Oh, grief again. <laughs> me and my choices. I didn't plan on that. It just, it's just what's going to happen. Anyways, the other one also is uh, Any Human Power by Amanda Scott, and that's got some magic kind of vibes to it, maybe. Some paganish, dreamer, witchy vibes. I like that. So hopefully that one gets picked. We'll see. Either way, I'm reading those two books in October, for sure. I'm also going to continue the next book, The Hunger of the Gods, after we finish The Shadow of the Gods, because The Fury of the Gods comes out at the end of October, and I have that already pre-ordered. So, Bloodsworn is definitely in the works to be read. And I would like to hopefully hopefully, it's in the other room, finish um, the Wolven trilogy that I have started with J.R. Ward because I do have the third book. It's in the bedroom. I always meant to pick it up and I just haven't done it yet. So those are my plans for October. I'm excited that I get to go back to work tomorrow. I'm going to be masked and that's fine. At least <laughs> I'm going to be moving around and doing some work. I'm still maybe contagious. I don't know. Oh, that's why I will be masked for the protection of the children. Not that they don't share enough germs with me. That's okay. I'm going to touch base with my bestie. Hopefully she has some time. And I'm going to prep some stuff for school. i got to prep my clothes for the week. Figure out what I'm going to wear. Especially... Um, October 1st is uh, photo day at school, so I want to look nice for that and prep what I'm going to eat for lunches for the week and try not to do too much because we do not want a regression. We want to continue this moving on to recovery kind of thing. Yes, yes. Anyways, that's it. I hope whatever you did or are doing for September you have enjoyed and they brought you joy that you guys are during this season of germs you are taking care of yourself <laughs> staying healthy drink lots of fluids I'm gonna do that now because I am taking something for chest congestion type stuff and it's making me very very thirsty so stay hydrated hope you're reading or doing things that are making you happy. Until then, until next time. Bye.